Mali, una genga to silikufa. I'm the only the solution. I want to call and I nilikuwa nacha sema wakanitoka. I want to call all the artists for a conference at KCC. Wote nyashinski gospel music that you when kila mtu rafton yani masimasika yani you name it Nadia Sauti Soul yani 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 ameenda wapi? Yani alienda ngapi? Una get? I want to call I want I want to call them all of them wakuje KCC. I'll pay for it. We sit down for a whole day. I give them the way forward how to take over East Africa, how to take over Africa, how to take over the world. I have the recipe. the music industry and pia bahati akauliza watu je anafaa rudi ili waonyeshe njia sijui wewe kama gani sababu hii ni story ambayo umekuwa ukizungumzia for the hii ni story ya Eric Komondi si ya Willie Paul si ya Sauti Soul Eric Komondi ndiye amekuwa akipigania music ameenda mpaka parliament it is my narrative i'm the only one with the solution wataenda wa wazunguke dunia yote watarudi kwa prophet na umewaita meeting sababu umesema uko na solution labda solution ni gani solution i need all the musicians all the new juakali nameless wahu red sun waire nonini eh and what are the old ones yeah and the new ones wakadinali una genga to silikufa i'm the only one with the solution i want to call and i nilikuwa nacha sema wakanitoka i want to call all the artists for a conference at KCC wote nyashinski gospel music that you when kila mtu rafton yani masimasika yani you name it nadia sauti soul yani 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 ameenda wapi yani alienda ngapi una get i want to call i want i want to call them all of them wakuje KCC i'll pay for it we sit down for a whole day i give them the way forward how to take over east africa how to take over africa how to take over the world i have the recipe Do you think it's possible to have uh, the artist uh, in a meeting? Yes, I want uh, we'll organize a conference tutakutana Friday. Alafu Saturday we'll do the biggest uh, Kenyan concert in the history of Kenyan music. We will have all the old school performing and all the new school performing on one stage in one day. Event it has a 10 itakuwa Nyayo Stadium ama Uhuru Park kama umefungua na itakuwa free. Na itakuwa the biggest event. Unaona venye bana boy anajazanga stadium Tuende kasarani tujaze kasarani itakuwa free from asubuhi ma upcoming kufika by lunch time ma new school tunamaliza na ma old school yeah wote warudi mpaka red sun alafu from hapo so itakuwa one weekend uh, tuseme tuseme friday thursday friday ni conference tukiongea na tuki strategize how do we take over east africa unaona vina kina damu ndo tuchapa alafu saturday tuko na hiyo concert na mimi niko na sponsors mimi niko hiyo pesa nilikuwa nishai nishai tenga mm -hmm. yeah so as soon as possible wakubali wa, wa, nikiwaita meeting wakuje uh -huh. eh. lakini Eric of course uh, watu wengi watauliza utaongea lakini ile story kwanza ya place 75% Kenyan uh, music imefikia wapi ilikufa iko pale ameendana sisi siku mbili napigania wa Kenya sasa hii umeona kitu nimemwambia pale mwambia mtazunguka zunguka zunguka mtarudi watazunguka mtazunguka nana nana na mtarudi kwa prophet eh na mwanza kurudi so na bahati aliandika pale akasema anaandika sasa ile recommend amelala lakini mimi silalangi kama wao lakini wewe mwenyewe mbona uliachi ile story asante wanantukana wanantupia mawe kwa hivyo uli give up siku give up Unasikia uwezi saidia mtu ata kusaidika. Mchezi saidia online media na wataki. Mimi kwa nini sina vitu vya kufanya? Niko na wakenya wana hawana hawana unga, hawana chakula. Wale na wasaidia, wengine wapigwa risasi. So me I'll take my energy and my time nisaidie watu ata kusaidika. You cannot get you, you can take the cow to the river but you cannot force it to drink. Niliwafikisha kwa river which was the parliament. Maji ndio hiyo. Bili kafika motion. Wana siasa wakakubali wakasimama wakaongea kwa parliament. Nikaingia ndani. So tulifikisha ngombe kwa okay sitaki kutukana watu sasa hivi nataka wanisikie yeah nikawafikisha kwa river wakakataa kukunywa so sasa hizi if they accept i have the solution i have the recipe it will take us two months na damu ndatajua juu david atajua juu whisky tatati unaona leo eh so labda ungependa kuambia nini ningependa kuambia wasanii ule ule nabii alitumwa na Mungu anaitwa Elikomondi the prophet of the lord hear ye the voice of the prophet i have your message you will go nowhere until you come back to me 
na turudi kwa ile barabara ya parliament tushikane na bien tushikane na calligraph tushikane na willy paul na bahati na retsa na waire na nameless na genge tonyote tuende parliament watapitisha within one day wakisha pitisha we will kick out foreign music Tuta, in fact says it was a 90% 90% of kenyan music 10% of the rest the only way ni radio stations and tv wasicheze ngoma za nje alafu si tuanze kufanya kujipanga my message was clear we lock out foreign music for at least 8 months tujipange tujiuze tujipackage watupatie time hawa wa nigeria wasikuje kuje una get that's the only way but it, it will only work tukishikana na urington na huyo bien na huyo na industry yote to in the parliament the motion is there watapitisha hata tukienda mande watapitisha tuesday na ruto atasign umetaja rington pale hivyo na kuna wakati umezungumzia hivyo katika industry wengi watasema hatujaona watu wakijitokezea kusaidia rington anasema sasa hii yuko semi homeless ako semi homeless uno hizi vitu zote zinarudi tu kwa profit nilisema wedding to nana nyumba akakataa sasa yeye anasema kwa semi homeless so uh, kama ilikuwa sio kama uta facebook live ndamfanyia instagram live ni mchangia tum, tumlipia rent ya 8 months na kujipanga panga mm. Mm. all right uh, pia kuna watu jana tulianza kuona shati ambalo rais mm. alikuwa ameva ikaivua a lot of debate pale hivyo na niliweza kuiona eh legalize legalize you know message legalize uh -huh. eh ndio vayo shati mm. kuna venye kuna venye vitu pangua mm. Tusikie wajakoya. Legalize. Legalize. Ameba shati na hata juu. Una get? So hiyo ni message. Mm. Haikuwa coincidental. Haizi kwa ilikuwa coincidental. Whether ni coincidental ama ni an ama ni an intentional hiyo ni message imefika. Hata kama alivaa kama juu. Kuna, kuna reason ilimfika kwa mwili wake. Legalize. Mimi sivutangi. Lakini legalize for whatever reason sinasaidia wa Kenya. Una get? Mm. Wakenya pia wamekuwa na debate pale hivyo online of this thing called world coin. Personally hata mimi sijajua ni nini lakini Aki ya Mungu nimeona leo. Aki si wadanganyi. Mimi naleo kana big gossip. Sijui ni nini. Uh -huh. Kwa nauliza sasa hivi ni driver hapa. Mimi uh niliona -huh. jana sikuelewa tena nimeona leo. So bado sijui ni nini. Uh -huh. eh, sijui ni nini. Uh, lakini wao encourage vijana waendelee ama bado until ni you know. Until I know. <laughs> Sisi comment. Uh -huh. Sijui ni nini. Uh -huh. Uh, but now na wachu mete bitek people by storm hope is a good thing kama nitafanya research yangu ni kitu mbaya tunajua nitawakataza nikani kitu pona ndio wao fine we saw yesterday uh, tiktok a friend chira yaza kushikwa because uh, a accused of uh, defaming asia na sema i don't know what you have to say ashikwe ashikwe ikuwe funzo kwa wengine people are misusing social media to insult to bully people are in the, uh, want to depression because of uh, bullying people are not just free to go online and uh, and, and and expose people's numbers ashikwe afungwe mpaka akwe 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 afutu ni msimu ndoto watu eh ushira apologize ama afungwe eh mimi ndoto watu kwa jela for the first time it's very bad ukichukua phone ya rikomundi weke kwa public una 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 unamweka in danger you know someone can use your number to track you down yeah. mm na ku track na onye penye huko. Uh -huh. eh. Kuna watu walikuwa na kutag wakisema labda utaenda umtoe. Siwezi mtoa. Lakini sitaki pia afungwe. Namwambia aombe msamaha na akue funzo kwa wengine. The fact that I have 4 million followers on Instagram doesn't mean I can just bully people. People are being bullied. People are being body shamed. People are being You can't just switch on your TikTok and say anything you want. You cannot. There are laws, there are cyberbullying laws and I know people who've killed themselves on Facebook because wana tukanwa wanaambiwa oh unakaa vibaya tutakuua nini and it's not it's not right it's not right uh, okay i don't want to say afungwe but i, I, I apologize na yeye personally asema i will never do that it's very bad i cannot condone it i cannot encourage it it is extremely wrong it is criminal yes so this means i can apologize je utaenda kwa brand anaitwa branchira branchira okay apologize to sio tanasha anaitwa nani asiad okay apologize to asiad mimi personally nitakuja leo nikutoe na ni wanakuru na ni wanakuru ni kuru apologize and in your apology encourage social media users to avoid bullying to avoid body shaming to avoid threatening people to avoid mimi niko na mtu anakono watu Tanzania akisema ni mimi ndio anatumia whatsapp ya ameka picha yangu So make sure you become an ambassador. 
uh, ndakuja kumtoa na na na, na, na MOU na contract sign atakuwa ambassador ya anti cyber bullying yeah mm -hmm. uh, so aki apologize ako, ako, ako station gani Eh mimi ndio toa watu jela. Okay apologies leo ndachukua online media nikuja nikutoe leo. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. All right, uh, maybe uh, is it something you do the same because of course PR kwenye mitandao unapitia kuna wanakupiga mara. Wengi sana. Is it something that you advocate? I'm advocating for it now. Uh -huh. We are going against anti, uh, anti bullying, uh, our good cyber bullying. Uh, kuna watu wameingia depression. Kuna watu wameingia wako na stress. Uh, so uh, we'll start, we'll start a campaign. Tutanza campaign ya yeah, anti uh, anti cyber bullying, yeah. But Chira, Chira ku ambassador. Uh -huh. Eh, Brian Chira ku ambassador. Uh -huh. Unaona wako ameanza ku change. Uh -huh. Eh, nyako. Kuna kuna watu wako nasema as yet being a content creator uh, Chira being a content creator. Sisi ngine wana so true chini ya Katia. Sio keka namba mtu kwa social media. Ah, yeah. uh, ni Matusi ndio ilikuwa mbaya. Uh, Kulikuwa na namba. Matusi, matusi nzawa, mimi natukana kwa kila saa, mimi cloud chesa. Yeah. Mimi nimeitwa mpaka homosexual gay. Watu si nsa ndika ndaya maisha. Huweka namba, aliweka namba. Alipena namba. Aliweka namba sivyo. Watu si nsawa. Wewe ni tukane. Mimi ni matukana bien mara ngapi lakini bado si ni marafiki. Shidangu ni kuweka namba personal contact. Any very wrong. Na pia utu watu wajue kuna limits. Mimi niko na form I'm the most follow. Nikaanza ku nikaanza si nimetumia nini? Nimetumia influence yangu. Nimetumia influence yangu ku nini? Who fight here online? Back I got to 15% to 5%. Now let's use it positively. Like in the camera, put me a couple of the more. Again, so so so. Uh, Brian Chira apologize. I'm going to allow. That's it. Eriko ni kona maswali mawili. Yes. Kwanza juzi tuli kwa na ringtone tu kwa na alikuwa so emotional. I'm going to say manapiti ya halingu musana. What do you have to say about that? The second question is. Ulikuwa umesema umepatia rais wa Kenya eh, 30 days in yes. office. Ya yeah. bado unaendelea na swala hilo. Nilipea rais wa Kenya William Samoe Ruto 30 days na we are going to start a revolution. But mtoto wangu anakuja. Ah uh, sasa mtoto anazaliwa around that time. So wacha mtoto azaliwe. Eh uh, itakuwa unfair to to lean. Itakuwa unfair to mtoi. You what we're going to do was very big, yeah. So wacha mtoto azaliwe. Wacha mtoto afike. Afike duniani, alafu ndawapea plan, kuna plan, kuna plan, ee, kuna plan. Na labda tukizumumzia mtoto unajua watu wengi walikuwa nasema, labda ringto mtoto wakizaliwa uta mwa kufanya face reveal hapo hapo. Jani ukweli, face reveal, ama tutangwa ya mtoto? Hei, mtoto, face ya mtoto wangu itakuwa pesa mingi sana. For me to reveal the face of my baby, I must be paid 50 million Kenyan shillings. And then the person who pay me 50 million Kenyan shillings, that kind of standard, I'm in the magazine, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm 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 going to be able to do it. Life ni ngumu. Wacha tufanye ile tufanye bare minimum. Pesa kadogo tu. 50 million kama uko hapo nje wewe ni magazine, sijui parents magazine, sijui true love, sijui baby shop whatever, safari whatever. Utakuuzia sura ya mtoto. Upatie mtoto 50 million wewe ukuwe mtu wa kwanza kuonyeshana sura ya mtoto hii. Watasema labda unaona wasanii wakubwa kina OG, Kiki Dashian wameweza kutoa fikso za watoto wao na wajaitisha pesa kama za hapo je. Haisikomba ni kipi ambacho mtoto wako kuna special sana. Eh, mtoto wangu ni mtoto wa Eric Omondi. Tuanze hapo. Tumelewana. Hivyo tu. Huyu ni mtoto wa Eric Omondi. Wani kama unalagai wa Kenya ama watu kwa jumla? Ah ah, si walagai wako wasipotaka ni sawa mtaona mtoto wangu mimi. Amtoa hii muona. Sana mrembo sana mimi sio muona jana kwa scan. Already pale anapigiwa scan kwa tumbo naona hapo tu. Mrembo sana ule. E, ule e, e, Eriko katika peku peku zangu katika mitandao ya kijamii, yeah. eh, nimeona watu wakisema Eriko ana expect eh, his first child. Lakini yeah. tunajua kule nyuma kuna pale ule mwingine labda unaweza sema aje. Hiyo nilisema sikubaliwi kuongelelea lakini hiyo kitu tumesema mimi nilisema. Nakumbuka nilisema nikirudia nikirudia ndaweza pelekewa kotini. Lakini uzuri nilishasema. Unaona? Nilishasema iko kwa record pale nyuma. Eh, lakini nikirudia rudia italeta shida. Mm. Thank you sana. Mbarikiwe sana.